Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch. Today we have an awesome humble bundle. This one is a collection of fantasy models. And what's really cool about this particular bundle is everyone gets to play. A lot of times on this channel, Unity people sit there and go, yeah, I won. Or Unreal people really do all game engines win. And this bundle is available, frankly, for all game engines. So let's go and jump in, take a look at the ultimate fantasy game development humble bundle. If you don't know how humble bundles work, basically they're a collection of stuff, in this case, 3D assets and models um, around a common theme. In this case, fantasy. You decide how much you want to pay, you buy a higher tier, you get all the tiers below it, you can decide how your money is allocated between uh, the developer, between Humble, between Charity, and if you so choose, and thanks so much if you do, to support Game From Scratch. And this bundle is, like I said, a collection of assets available for a number of different game engines, and we're going to do things a bit different this time. We're going to jump in and go hands-on with one of the assets, and then get back to the details. Now, what I find really impressive with this particular Humble Bundle is that everyone gets to play. Here we are looking at just one of the assets. This is the Devil Asset in Unity. It's available as a series of prefabs. You can literally just drop them in. It's also got a number of models you can work with. You can build it up yourself. And here it is in the Unity game engine. It's fully animated. It's got some particle effects and everything else hooked up to it. But it goes beyond that. So here we are now in Blender. That is the exact same model. I imported the FBX files, I set up all the textures for it, and there it is there. This guy is highly configurable. There's different sets of heads and so on, also different sets of textures. So for example, if I wanted to come in here and we're looking at the demon's armor right now, this is from the Unity install. You'll see I come here, there is a textures folder. Uh, this is the uh, body armor mat. So I'm gonna go here, alternates, uh, and then you can go down and find armor. Devil body armor, and let's just bring in the albedo channel of that guy. So here you can see the body armor piece right there. Uh, we could swap that guy out. Not mean to drop you in like that. So there you see, you've got alternate sets you can easily configure, so you can really turn this guy into a number of different things. Now another cool thing you can do, here I am in Blender with the FBX file. Well, I exported that guy out as a GLTF file, and here I am now, same model, same guy, now I am in the Godot game engine. And look at this, we'll head on over here, look at the scene itself, go press play, and look, all of our animations work. Very, very cool. So I go ahead and uh, I run this application I created using the Godot game engine. Uh, give it a second to go ahead and run. And here we go, there is our model running in a Godot application. So you can easily use this guy in whatever game engine you wish. You could use it in CryEngine or Lumberyard or of course in Unity and Godot as you're seeing here. And also of course, Unreal Engine. In fact, it comes with Unreal Engine scene files. So here we can see multiple different versions of the devil character. So you see you've got different heads being used, different body types. You got different armor and different textures you can use for it. Over here, if we look, we've got multiple different heads that we can work from, from a template, different sets of horns you can use. And we'll go ahead and run this. You'll see our character is actually fully animated, and you can see all the other different animations that have been defined for this guy in action with these little headless bodies running over here. So not only is it a highly modular set of models, it's a highly modular set of high quality models that can be used in whatever game engine you need. Really, really cool stuff. All right, so let's go back and take a look at the package itself. So there we saw in some depth one of the assets that's available in this bundle. That was the uh, Devil uh, available. I would pick something from the highest tier. I think it's right uh, here. Yeah, so the Devil's model, that's what we were looking at right there. So you're seeing a number of different assets along the same lines. You're getting it for Unity, you're getting it for Unreal, and in that form, you're getting it in raw FBX format, plus the developer themselves make available the number of the uh, asset resources they use, such as substance materials. So you can easily tweak and evolve these to use in your own game. Plus, they all have multiple texture sets and multiple different configurations, so your game won't necessarily look like an asset flip if you use these, because everything is highly customizable. All right, so we're going back to the traditional tiers. At the $1 tier, uh, you get the plant monster, the rock monster, and the mushroom monster set. We go up to the next tier up, you get the Giant Worm, the Minotaur, Mimics and Chess, the Medusa, and the Lock Picking Pack, a collection of lock picking uh, implements. This one's actually like four gigabytes in size, so there is a ton in that particular pack. And then finally, at the $15 tier, yeah. 
$15, no, not $15, sorry, the uh, $25 tier here, you're getting spiders, dragons, humans, male and female, armor pack number one, weapons and armor number one, character accessories, trolls, demons, magic and melee, sound a uh, library, and then finally the one that we went hands-on with earlier, devils. Now, as it always works with these particular bundles, I buy them, let you know what you can expect, and in this case, what you're basically getting is a ton of keys. You're getting keys for both redemption on the Unity Store and on the Unreal Store. Now, you'll notice the Unity Store keys actually have a one year plus a couple weeks expiration date on them. Unreal keys don't seem to expire, which is definitely very nice. Now, the cool thing is, once again, especially in the case of the Unity stuff, it is just straight out um, FBX files, all the texture formats, all the source files you need to work with this stuff. So as you saw earlier, I brought the stuff into Blender. You can bring it into Blender, tweak the animations, export it to your game engine of choice, and you are off to the races. But basically everything here, product keys for both major game engines. I also believe they're going to add some direct downloads on here. I'm not sure if that's happened yet or not. doesn't appear to be here yet. One of the nice things when you install these assets, you actually get a uh, window pops up in your game engine that basically says, this isn't it. There's also more assets available for download on our site, and that's where you can get the raw sources, things again like the substance materials, etc. And beyond the assets we're seeing in this bundle, uh, you've got some bonus files available, and then we've got a number of other packs. So if you like this art style and you want to keep going with it, you've got additional armor packs and different additional character and model sets that stay in the same basic art style. So you can see there's a number of different options out there on the asset store from these guys. I will link to the remainder of their store. So if you want to do a game and you're going with these kind of files, there is more and more available. So uh, there's a wide selection of things. Now let's go back and take a look at some more of these assets. Now I'm going to look at them in the Unity game engine because that's where I downloaded them all. Uh, the cool thing is once you've redeemed them on Unity, uh, you can go over to uh, here, and then you can grab them via the package manager, and they're all kind of scattered about. For example, the armor pack here, uh, it's uh, 1.3 gigabytes in size, just download and then import, and then you can use it in your game. Their stuff installs into a common folder structure, so you've got some commonality. So here you can see I've got the, the demons, devils, dragon, worm, medusa, minotaur, and weapons packs all installed, a couple humans, shared files between them, but all the, um, the shaders and the scripts and such install into a common folder structure, so they all sort of support each other. So here you can see a few more of the assets in action. Here here is a dragon asset, dragon asset, a couple of the different human characters, highly customizable by the way, so you can make these look just about however you want, but at the same time you can also put the armor sets on top of them. Here is the Medusa character, the Minotaur, and the Worm character. Let's go back and take a look at one of these dragons. Alright, so let's grab you. Alright, dragon, dragon 2. And we'll look at some of the animations that are available on it. So let's do an idol. So there. For every single one of these, there are a ton of predefined animations in there. In almost every case, there are multiple tile set or um, texture sets available. So if you want to customize and make them look differently, you can. Let's do a fly animation here. Ooh, off it goes. So uh, every single thing here is animated in its own manner as well. So let's go grab this worm. I'll showcase. Oh, oh I grabbed the wrong worm, didn't I? All right, the, I, I pulled in the wrong prefab. All right, let's go show with the minotaur instead. Here is the attack animation of the Minotaur. Some definitely cool stuff at play here. So each one of these things, you basically bring them in as a straight up prefab. So for example, let's go to the dragon right here. You'll see under the, there, there's a prefab folder and I got a couple different ones I can come in and showcase. So here is dragons. There's two different prefabs. You can literally just drag and drop them into your scene. But if we also come back here, you're gonna see you have things like blend shapes for doing, um, facial animations and mappings and so on. You've got uh, particle effects that go with them. You've got, so dragon breath weapon. There's a particle effect available there. Let's see if I actually get that. Uh, breath fire. I don't know if the particle effect will show in the animation. Nope, but there's actually a particle effect to go along with that. There, you can see it right there. Those two will go together uh, already scripted and set up for you. Also in the world of Unreal Engine, everything will be set up for you as well. But at the same time, any of this stuff, you wanna go ahead and use it in another game engine. I'll just go to this root folder here. I will go show this in Explorer and anything we want here we can then easily use in our other game engines. And by the way, the license allows you. By default, this is going under the standard Unity and Unreal Engine licenses. Uh, it's yours to use, you can use it commercially, etc. So let's say you're working with the Medusa here and you wanted to bring it over uh, and import it into uh, Blender or um, Lumberyard, TriEngine, Godot, Godot, or whatever. We can come in, basically here are your models. Generally, they are in FBX format. Uh, they will have different uh, configuration sets potentially. So you might bring it in and find that it has three or four different sets of heads, just either hide or delete 
the ones you don't want. And at the same time, we come over here, take a look at the textures, and you're gonna see we have not just one set of armor textures. So here is an, an armor texture for this guy. So here is the one set. Well, we've also got <laughs> 10 of them. So if you wanna have Medusa, you have 10 different texture sets for that one thing. Same with the body. The body has 11 different texture sets. And that's not, I'm not cherry picking here with just the Medusa. It's actually a pretty amazing pack on the whole. We looked at the devil earlier. The devil has a number of different uniform, A, B, and C for horns and armor and, and weapons and so on, but also has a bunch of alternate textures available as well. And there are ultimate heads, ultimate sets of horns. It, it's, it's kind of amazing how customizable this whole set is. And everything here is in its raw format, so you can bring it in, FBX, tweak it to your heart's content, switch out these different things, and you are good to go. All the shaders that are needed are here. It's it's an impressive pack for sure. The other one I didn't really get into, I'll go back to Unity to showcase this, is we have our weapons and armor sets. These are compatible with all of your characters in, in game. There's actually some tools for hooking these up to work with the particular character. So here you can see uh, axe textures. We've got various different axe models right there. We've got clubs, club model over here hammers, uh, spears, staffs, swords. Let's go look at, we got four different sword models. See it in action down there. And then of course we've got the armor as well. Where is armor? Uh, now I have to find the armor. Weapons and armor, armor, armor sets. So here you can see it's broken down by the character type. So male elf has a number of different armor types and you can see them there so there's a chain cuirass and of course you could mix and match these together um there are again scripts for making it so that you can get these uh working easily so let me just set that up a little bit so you can see some of the armor we're working with so these full sets can easily be brought in to work uh kind of pieces here and there um I also think we have some, is there a preset here? No, nope. and then for each one, there are a number of different armor textures there too. It, it, it's just staggering between all these different armor sets that are available to you uh, and the armor, the, the multiple sets of textures that are available for those armor sets, you can really go to town here. There, there are just uh, dozens upon dozens and upon dozens of pieces to work from. And then on top of those, you, you've got all the raw source access to this stuff so you can kind of tweak it to your heart's content. This is an impressive bundle, I do have to say so. And again, I really love the fact that this isn't um, isn't tied to just one game engine. So here, out of the box, you are getting uh, Unity versions and Unreal versions. And again, since you're getting all of the raw assets, this is equally usable in CryEngine, Lumberyard, Godot Engine, you name it, you can use it there. So this bundle, is quite nice again nice set of monsters to start at the one dollar tier decent set at the medium tier but really if you're going to want to go in here cheaper than the cost of a single asset each one of these assets is just really really good you saw the dragons in action you saw the number of different animations you saw the number of different textures available for each one of these asset packs it is staggering and i'll actually try and come back and i'll showcase using some maybe in a follow-up video i'll show how to use the humans and the weapon sets and all that stuff together so you can customize things or uh how you can customize customized characters or the accessories to all work together and so you can make really broad different kinds of games and it won't look that common so you know it won't look like uh the flip of the week when you are done with it i gotta say this is one of the most impressive asset packs i have seen yet and i highly re recommend checking it out plus of course there is some uh, music and sound effect libraries in there everything is made to be loopable and reusable and modular again in that scope so uh, definitely an interesting pack and i highly recommend you check it out let me know what you think comments down below and i will talk to you all later